What's going on guys? Welcome back. Finally got my new gun in. This is a new gen. Extreme Big Boar 357 out of uh, Fort Worth, Texas. They're not made in Michigan no more. Uh, they got a new plant in Texas where they're manufacturing these. Um, color is uh, gunmetal gray. And I got this brand new custom to my liking. Uh, Gunmetal gray. And the stock is uh, salt and pepper laminate. Which I think came out pretty good. Uh, this gun can produce 420 foot pounds of energy. Which is powerful for a 357 air rifle. Um, I love these guns. I, I think these guns are built to last a lifetime and in my opinion these are the best made air rifles I've had lots of big bores and I've never had any problems out of my extreme big bore whatsoever on anything and that's the truth um, and it's just beautiful I mean look at it this gun's beautiful I love it um, I topped it off with a Van Steri scope I didn't ch cheap out on scopes I mean, it ain't a real expensive scope. I mean, you know, it's a couple hundred dollar scope, but I didn't cheap out like you know with fifty dollar scopes and stuff like I usually do. Uh, knock off AccuShot bipod, but still made very good. Um, now these are a little different than the older models, just for comparison. Uh, the one in the back is my 500 Nitro Express. That's one of the older models. The one in the front here is the 357, the newer model. Uh, basically the same. Uh, you know, they just made a few few upgrades on the newer ones. Um, as you can see, the stock here is not cut out like this one. And I'm guessing they did that to lighten the gun up a little bit. And I think it looks pretty cool too. And as you see, the charging handle on this one's just like a black piece of rubber, or I don't know, maybe Delrin or something. And for this one, they kind of made it a little stylish, put like a aluminum hand on her. Looks pretty cool. And on this, on the newer ones, it says has fire and safe on it, to where this one doesn't. And also, they have. Engraved on the side here, it says Extreme 357 KL with the serial number, made in USA. So that's pretty cool. The older models don't have that. But my favorite upgrade is they have gauges now. And that is a good upgrade for this. And also, these guns are a lot cheaper than they were. I, I believe they were... Well, the 500 Nitro Express, I believe they were around, they were around $2,000. And uh, the 357s and 45 and 308 were around $1,700 to $1,800. But the newer gen, the new gen ones are $1,400. That's it. You know, plus shipping. So it's about $1,440 or something, $1,435 total. Which is a lot better. They are... Fillable to 4,500 PSI. The trigger is a Timney, which are great triggers. The barrel is 28 inches long. It is a bolt action. It's got a little teardrop bolt. And it's separate from the charging handle, which is right here. And this, uh, this is, takes quite a bit to charge. And uh, as you can see, it has a lot of hammer travel. And it's got a huge hammer. And that's, so it will open that valve up at 40, all the way up at 4,500 PSI, giving you maximum power. Obvious, I can't go to the range today because I'm on lockdown. And I'm uh, trying to listen and not spread this stuff so we can get rid of it. And hopefully you guys are listening too. Let's get rid of this stuff and get our economy going. 
But anyway, I'll, I'll get back and get out to the range as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.